I thought we was homies. I thought we was homeboys. Why none of y'all niggas told me that Candace Parker switched teams, though? I thought we were as Boone Coons. Nigga, the fuck? I mean, that's a tall lad ride to ride, but sometimes you want to keep in the back of the mind that it's possible to actually ride it one day. So when y'all niggas are going to tell me? This is all jokes. I don't want to get choked out by my lady. <laughs> I'm just playing. But um, Candace Parker has revealed that I don't know if this really a reveal, but she reveals her wife is pregnant. And seeing this was news to me. I was always thinking of Candace Parker like, oh, that's like one of the only WNBA ladies that like, you know, she has a husband and, you know, she has children and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, you know, she's in, I see all the time, like, you know, she kind of looks kind of like, you know, she has some masculine traits, but she's still like, you know, doing her thing. You feel me? Far as with women. I mean, she's still doing her thing with men. But this came as a shock to me because um, apparently she's not only not with her husband anymore, Sheldon Williams, former Duke basketball player. He played with JJ Reddick and shit. But she is married to another basketball player. And they are expecting a child to come in the future. So, you know, this is one of just the homie moments. We just having a homie conversation. Just to bring a conversation to my channel. Because it's something that shocked me. So I wanted to, to know if it shocked other people as well. Because I just was not under the interpretation that, you know, she swing this way i mean if that's what she want to do whatever floats her boat or find, find her lost remote that's her life if that's what she want to do i mean well she eat don't make me shit so <laughs> and um you know it is what it did <laughs> but it just it, it just but it's just it's just something to think about something to talk about real quick so i'm pretty sure they used um one of the resources to go ahead and um for her wife to get pregnant so that should be interesting to see how that comes along, you know. Um, you know, it's a lot of different things that's going on as well. There's so many different changes when it comes to the different dynamics of families in the future. I've seen what, you know, two females raising a child produces. I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> the last thing that I could do is use my anecdotal experience. It wasn't a good experience because <laughs> I actually had ties to that person. The last thing I could do is use my anecdotal experience to to say that this is how every child that comes from the situation is. That's how their life going to be. So I think it, it, it should be interesting. I hope they have some men around to be able to be be there because you know you do need that perspective of, of um in the house so i think you do need that perspective around somewhat because when it comes to you know seeing that you will want some type of representation if if if, be, if their child does not turn out like them you still want some type of representation i don't know it's just so unique like it's it's so many unwritten rules because the world we still like are living in the times where things are developing like so many different perspectives so many different ways and walks of life is still developing so it's just so interesting to me like you know at some point in time i guess people are gonna get it right and find a perfect balance of doing things but what is perfect balance i mean what is right you know one, one thing about life that's so interesting you don't know you lived it right until you're gone and from that point who's really the judge you know how can you really tell? I be thinking like, what is a perfect marriage? What is a successful marriage? You don't know what's a successful marriage until both of the people are die, died, or one, at least one have died. And at that point in time, like, <laughs> like what you really got to show for it. So it's so many like different things when you really think about shit with life, like what is right. And we can use some people that are religious, um, they can use that as their moral compass. But at the end of the day, we don't really get to see the grade that they receive from the life that they lived so we still left back here trying to figure things out on our own so for me not to make my life too complicated worrying about what other people have going on i try to my best to like walk my own walk at the best i could and focus on you know what my moral compass is you know i always talk about the idea of integers um i don't know some for some reason that sat with me a lot 
growing up in school because i always reference that shit but as far as like my ant the integers like what my zero is my zero is here and sometimes i may go negative four or positive six but i always have my zero here here um that's my zero and i try to just focus on my zero and i only care about somebody else's zero unless i have to when i have to actually interact with them candace parker i doubt i ever had to really interact with her so her zero don't really care what her zero is but you know that's so she could live her life wherever she want to live her life shouts out to her and her child that she's expecting i hope the best for them i hope you know this sparks a mature conversation and um you know i'm trying to grow i'm trying to grow people <laughs> I'm trying to grow i appreciate y'all for listening to me talk and um uh, you know be transparent as possible as much as i possibly could be i'm gonna fuck up out of here though but stay safe now fuck with you why because you fuck with me hey i'm out